Our fourth presentation, as I mentioned, is going to be um, played remotely, a video uh, that was prepared in advance. Um, and this is by Dari Akarale, Food Away from Home in Nigeria, Consumption Drivers and Nutritional Implications of Within-Day Meals. Making a presentation on Food Away from Home in Nigeria, Consumption, Driver and Nutritional Implication of Within-Day Meals. My co-presenter are Fadari and Matrobia from the International Food Policy Institute, Institute, Research Institute, Nigeria. Food away from home have been progressively playing a crucial role in the diet of many households in developing countries, Nigeria inclusive. However, determinant of process decision and consumption of food away from home are less empirically studied, especially in the Nigerian context, and little is known empirically about what the specificity of consuming food away from, from home within the day, either as breakfast, lunch, dinner, or side dishes hold for nutritional well-being of uh, consumers. An understanding of trust information is essential in advancing cap human capital of nutrition and accelerated attainment of uh, sustainable development goals. To achieve this object, uh, the set uh, research direction, we want to take a look at the proportion of households that consume food away from home and the budget share allotted to them. We also want to compare the consumption of food away from home by household characteristic. We want to take a look at factors influencing consumption of food away from home and draw implications for food away from home based on the nutrient consumed from an at-home food items. We make use of a, um, a panel of a data from a, the National Living Standard Survey uh, panel data across the entire country um, for 2015 and 16 for our ana analysis. We we'll take time to look at um, the various food items consumed away from home. We also take a look at the quantities of various food consumed purely at home from where we estimated the calories and nutrients uh, or selected nutrients for this study. But we made effort to dichotomize households that consume food away from home, the type of food away from home they consume, and those that do not. Also, with the methodology, we take a look at the descriptive statistics and as well as uh, a double or do a regression model estimated within the panel data framework to look at the determinant of uh, the probability of consuming food away from home, the various types, as well as the budget here allotted to them. So the model is as specified. Quickly to the result. The result is shown here in terms of uh, looking at the expenditure, uh, budget share, and the proportion of household consuming food away from home. The key finding here is that consumption of food away from home is a dominant practice among households, with about 81% of households consuming food away from home. Besides, considerable proportion of households also consume either food away from home, either as lunch, as breakfast, and also with a snack and non-alcoholic beverages. You can see from the slide that almost 50% of a household consume all these food items. The budget here allotted to uh, food away from home is about 12.6% of the total household budget. Looking at the comparison, which is the objective too, between the food, uh, consumption of food away from home uh, uh, by household characteristic, um, the key finding here is that Non-agricultural households are households that have higher level, added by those who have higher level of um, education and high level of income and urbanization. Actually, those people living in a uh, household that possess those characteristics, they have higher consumption of food away from home. And the implication is that income growth, urbanization, higher educational attainment, as well as opportunity for non-farm jobs or occupations are vital triggers for consumption of food away from home. The 
we estimate the, as earlier mentioned, the double order model were estimated for specific uh, group of uh, food consumed away from home. We estimated for lunch away from home, breakfast away from home, um, vegetables away from home, side dishes away from home, as well snacks away, consumed away from home, as well as uh, beverages consumed away from home. But the key findings here is that the likelihood of consuming one or more of the selected foods examined increase with higher income and or the number of hours spent on job, the youth agricultural, non-agricultural, or salary work. However, the budget share of the expended decline, decline with, decline with um, higher, uh, as income increases, the budget share dedicated to um, dedicated to the specific group decline with a higher level of income. But essentially, education, urbanization, and also composition also plays a critical role in influencing food, consumption of food away from home. Uh, with respect to the level of uh, nutrient consumed at the household uh, consume based on uh, the food uh, consumed at home, we compare those who consume away from home and those who do not consume away from, from home. In terms of the nutrient availability, what we can see is that those who are consuming food away from home already have higher consumption of fat, but they have less consumption of iron. And the nutritional, food and nutritional implication is that for those consuming food away from home, they should reduce the, they should consume less of fatty food items and promote and uh, advance consumption of more of food that are rich in, uh, in iron. Then with specificity to the within daily meals, um, efforts will be made, especially for consumption, for those consuming breakfast in the, in, uh, at home and those who do not consume breakfast at home, but everyone, they are consuming food away from home. For those consuming breakfast, they should make effort to consume iron rich food, either as dinner or at lunchtime. Then for those consuming at lunchtime, they should make effort to have protein rich food in their meal at dinner or at side dishes. The reason be the fact that they already have um, higher level of fat and uh, lower level of uh, um, lower level of uh, of um, lower level of iron as well as uh, uh, lower level of protein consumption. So um, essentially also for dinner, um, they should reduce consumption of fat at dinner. And those consuming side dishes should take protein intake to advance protein, uh, consumption of protein food and limit intake of fat. Um, for those consuming side dishes, they should endeavor to consume calcium rich food, such as milk and milk product. Um, well, in the overall, in the overall, the average also cons consuming food away from home appear to have higher consumption of fat and lower consumption of iron from the food consumed at home. Hence, also consuming um, food away from home to avoid consumption of fatty food they should also endeavor to consume food that will enhance the iron intake. Also, consuming breakfast should and side dishes away from home should focus more on calcium availability at home. Essentially, given that food away from home appears irreversible, the study should this study stand out to prove additional empirical information in the Nigeria's context of consumption of food away from home with respect to the specificity of kind of meal and the type of food or meal to consume in order to enhance their nutritional well-being. Thank you for listening. Hello to everyone. Uh, my name is Tari Akrele from Nigeria. Um, making a presentation 